Hi all, welcome to the video. Um, in this video, we are going to teach you how to do a metadata cleanup on a domain. Uh, you'll want to do this if there is a DC or multiple DCs that have been taken out of the domain improperly, whether that's being reinstalled, just taken out of the network, powered down, whatever, without demoting it first. Um, the easy way to do this is a right click and delete, and that is going to be going to Active Directory Users and Computers, going to your domain, Domain Controllers, finding the domain that is the problem, in this case it's going to be DC2, right click, delete. It's going to ask if you're sure you want to do it. Click yes. It'll say, hey, this is a domain controller. Are you sure you want to go ahead and delete it? You'll just hit yes, or he'll hit, hit, hit the checkbox and then delete. And then we'll say, hey, this domain controller is a global catalog. Do you want to continue with the deletion? Click yes. It'll delete it there. Then you'll want to go to Active Directory Sites and Services. Go to Sites. Whichever site the domain controller was part of, Servers. And as you can see, it doesn't have any of the information left, but it's still in there. So we'll just want to highlight it, delete it, and click yes, <clears throat> and it's gone. Now, there are some cases where that will not work, and you'll have to do it the hard way. And once I reset the lab, we'll go ahead and go over that. All right, now that we've got the lab reset, we have two DCs again, which I'll show you. We'll go to the domain, domain controllers, and as you can see, that pesky DC is back. So now we're going to go ahead and open up an administrator command prompt. We're going to go to ntdsutil. Once there, we're going to go to metadata cleanup. Forgot the space. And once we're there, <clears throat> we're going to go to connections. And we're going to connect to server. And then it's going to be whichever DC you're wanting to connect to. In this case, it's going to be DC1. Once we're there, we're going to go ahead and quit, go back to metadata cleanup. Then we're going to go to select operation target. In there, we're going to list domains. Okay, it sees one domain. In a multi-domain environment, of course, you'll see all of them. We'll just want to select domain and then whichever number you're on. So in this case, it'd be zero. Okay, and as you can see, it's saying no current site, no current server. So we're going to list sites in a multi-site environment. You need to pick whichever one you have, but here it's just select site zero. <clears throat> now it's got the site, but no server. So we're going to list servers in site. And as you can see, it's got both of them, DC1 and DC2. We're going to select um, server one since we are wanting to get rid of DC2. And then once everything is listed, we're gonna go ahead and hit Q again, and then we're going to remove selected server. It'll pop up saying that you, making sure that you wanna do it. And here you want to make sure that you have the proper DC as the CN. If it is correct, you'll just hit yes. It'll remove it. Then you can just quit out of it to yes. And exit the command prompt and now <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do a refresh as you can see we've only got the one DC in there now and as in the right click method you'll still want to go to sites and services the site servers and delete it there as well and that is how you do a metadata cleanup both the easy right click delete way and the hard command prompt into the util way hope you've enjoyed and thank you for watching